Welcome back to the series, and in this video, I'll be sharing with you four tips that I wish I would have known before I started studying for the DAP. I'm Connor, and I'm a second year dental student studying at Roseman University's College of Dental Medicine. If this is the first video of mine that you're seeing, you can catch the other videos in this series here, where I share a little bit more about studying and preparing to take the DAT. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the rest of the videos in this series to help you get a DAT score that you're super happy about. Hindsight's 2020. I'm looking back on my experience preparing to take the DAT. Here are four things that I wish I would have done from the start of my time studying for the DAT. The first thing that I wish I would have done differently was find a study buddy. I wish I would have found someone who was also using DAP Bootcamp so that we could set a little bit of time aside each week to get together and discuss topics that were difficult or things that we weren't understanding so that we could work through them together. This is something that I've implemented in dental school and I found it to be really beneficial. Tip number two, don't spend too much time studying the things you already know or that you enjoy studying. I found this to be particularly difficult when it came to studying for the PAT. I found it super fun. I mean, I like puzzles and things like that, so the PAT was right up my alley. But I could have benefited from taking that time and putting that towards some biology studying because that score could definitely have improved. Make sure that you're dedicating enough time and studying the things that you are weak at so that you can bring those scores up when you take the DAP. Piece of advice number three is review the questions after you take a practice test. This was something that I did not do very well. I would go back and I would look at the questions that I missed, but I didn't really take notes and I didn't really dive any deeper into the explanations other than what was right in front of me. But I would recommend taking the time and going through all of the questions on that test, even the ones that you got right, because they can point you in the direction of things that you may not otherwise study or learn, which those things might just show up on the DAP the day you take it. While this may seem tedious, the ROI will be well worth it. After all, you are studying to learn and prepare for the DAP, and reviewing the past questions will help you do exactly that. My last piece of advice for you is to take the DAT at the end of your sophomore year. This should be right after you finish taking your Gen Chem and OChem classes, and a pretty good majority of your biology classes as well. So all of this material will be fairly fresh, and it will really help you get a jump start on your studies. A lot of people do wait until the summer after their junior year to take the DAT, but then you feel crunched when you're trying to fill out your application, finishing up volunteering and shadowing and studying for the DAT. It can all be pretty overwhelming, but by taking the DAP the summer after your sophomore year, you give yourself plenty of time to focus solely on studying for the DAP. And worst case scenario, if you end up needing to retake it, you don't feel super rushed by that either. Take these things and implement them into your DAP preparation. Learn from my experience and my mistakes. But remember to take it a day at a time. It's a marathon, not a sprint, so pace yourself. I hope that you found this helpful. And if you have, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more videos that will help you in your preparation for the DAT or on your journey to becoming a dental student and a practicing dentist. Share this video with your friends who are getting ready to take the DAT or your pre-dental club. Also, consider those people for your study buddies as you are preparing to take the DAP. I really appreciate the handful of people who are watching these videos. If you have implemented any of my tips, let me know your experience down in the comments as well. See ya!